So you're an agency owner. And I wanted to ask, how cool will it be if you could turn every single client that you get into a partner that equates to the sum of around six figures each? That means you would only have to work with maybe one client per month, right? How awesome would it be to have all that time on your hands and freedom, no nagging, no none of the BS, and you only have to set up systems and you'd be able to profit as if you had many clients, but you only have one at a freaking time. Why get a, a hundred, one thousand, two thousand dollar per month clients when you can have one at a time that you can pull six figures from. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Uh, I showed you the nine monetization methods for how to monetize a client or a partner properly in the last video, but we're going to go more in depth and explain and break them down uh, here as we got the effort job. What's the name? At any time, you can go and you can study my agency page. Uh, you might not have heard about it, but a lot of the incognito stuff that I do in my agency, because I was trying to build my school, Anti-Job University, but the agency side makes a crap load more. I, I've been getting clients since like almost 2015, but now we get partners. Let me explain. <clears throat> so number one, you can take these partners, guys. It's people that want to be in the business that they're in, right? It's people that wish that they knew how to start a business, just like a lot of you guys, right? So you can take this restaurant owner, you can take this plumber, you can take this roofer, you can take this magician, this private chef, it doesn't matter. You interview them for an hour to two hours, get all of the details of how they started, how they begun, where they are now, when problems come up, what do they do and all of that. You turn that into a course. You can use AI to turn it into a course, it does not matter, but you turn it into a course. Now that is another passive income stream for you and them. You use their ad budgets. It could be a tiny budget, 25 bucks a day, 10 bucks a day. And you target the people in their city that are interested in starting businesses, interested in jobs, careers, all of that extra stuff, just graduating college and everything. And you can sell a lot of courses for that client or partner for you and them. And you can profit from that. So that's one way that we create an extra income stream for our partners. Told you we do things different at the profit position in agency that other agencies don't do. They can never compare us and say, oh, we heard that before. No, you're not. Okay. So now next in our agreement, because we don't make anybody sign any type of contracts, that stuff is dead. Okay. In our agreements, we get them to agree to be our, we want to be their dedicated funding partner. So we have a uh, uh, loan companies and financing companies that we partner with, whether it's a, a car dealership, whether it's real estate funding, whatever it is. So whenever their customers or them get finance or funded, whether that's for equipment or just to make purchases, it doesn't matter. We get a commission off of that. And the funny thing about it, guys, is whenever you want to upsell them some other services or whatever, they get a funding uh, uh, plan for that. You get a cut from them getting the loan and from them paying you for the upsell service that you have. Super freaking genius. I know, I know, I know, right? So next we have the tools that you're going to be using to automate it. So in the link in my description, a lot of you guys use ClickFunnels and all of these different weird stuff, right? But we can get the job done with Builderall. Builderall is an all-in-one marketing suite tools and everything automating WhatsApp. You can automate their Instagram. You can automate their Facebook messenger when ads are running. You can do all of that extra stuff, all of that, right? So <laughs> in Builderall, we, we just do that. And the good thing about every single tool that we use to get them results, guys, we only use tools that have affiliate programs. Okay. So a lot of y'all was asking me about that. Like what in income streams do you have and all of that stuff? We only use tools that have affiliate programs. What's the point of you bringing so much uh, attraction to some company and they don't you. An affiliate program shows that you appreciate the efforts, time, money, skills of the people that introduce you to new customers. So only deal with the automation tools or the outrage uh, prospecting results tools that have affiliate programs. Okay. Now, next, what we do with these partners, guys, and this is possibly one of the most powerful parts of what we do. A lot of y'all have heard in the past that the money is in the list, right? The money is in the list. And this is true. What kind of list? SMS list, messenger list, email list, all type of different freaking lists, right? Social media lists, it does not matter. The money is in the list. Why? Because you can follow up, you can upsell, you can offer different offers and, and, and marketing tools and everything to their list. So the good thing about what we do, guys, since we're partnering with them instead of getting them as traditional clients like a lot of y'all do, is we have more creative freedom. Since we're not wrenching their pockets every single month, 
in their mind, you know, like, oh, we we got to keep all of this in our pocket. All these other agencies want five, ten thousand, twenty thousand dollars a month. We get to keep that in our pocket and grow. But what they don't realize, or maybe they realize and just don't care, is that you're growing when they grow. Every time they get a sale, you get a sale. Every time they get a lead, it splits. You get that email as well. So you can market, you can remarket to whoever comes in on that email list. You can uh, 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 send them other offers, CPA offers, pay per call offers, affiliate offers, or whatever that is. So your list from day one of working with them, guys, you're creating, you're building a targeted list based off of the traffic they were already getting. So let's say if they're ranking in the snack pack, the Google snack pack, the Google My Business list listings, and they're getting uh, 20, 30, or maybe even 50 visitors per day, guys, and 10 to 20 of those people opt in to the email form if you properly create, uh, you know, optimize the page or whatever for them. Now you got 10, 20 dang on people on your email list today. Imagine how many of that people, how many of those people will be on your list at the end of the year. And that is yours to do with what you want to do with what to promote them to them or whatever, whatever you want to promote to them is your freedom, right? Because you're a partner. You have much as, as much right to ownership as the actual business itself. They're doing a fulfillment. You're doing a promotion. Is that simple? This is your way to buy into a business without buying into a business monetarily. Okay. So that's the powerful part of like having control of their sites and assets and everything, guys. You can plug in the traffic that they already have and start being profitable from day one. And we're going to get to that. Okay. So now I know you guys have never heard of this before. At any time, you can go to the profitpositioningagency.com site. You can study uh, some of my more obvious business models. I can't tell you what the marketing monopoly is. That is what makes me the only. Okay. You want to create an offer on your site up to a million freaking dollars, right? That positions you as the only. When you reach out to them, how can they differentiate you from anybody else? How can they say, oh, well, I ain't never been, you know, I ain't never heard of nothing like this, right? Okay. So now, anyway, uh, next, you want to create uh, a, a plan to resell their failed leads. So I mentioned Zillow. I mentioned uh, uh, freaking Home Advisor, but they got Angie's List. We have a whole bunch of different companies, right? Where when a lead comes in, guys, like is Yelp, Yelp can do this too, like in their own business ways, right? A lead will come in, thumbtack, a lead will come in for whatever that niche is. And they're on a timer immediately. They send that same lead. They send a notification to all of them and they have to pay to unlock that freaking lead and be able to call that lead. So even if somebody else already reached out to that lead too late, they paid too late. They paid. It was 20 bucks per lead. And they sent it to, to 10 people. That's 200 bucks that Thumbtack made. I think I did the math right on that, right? So now if that if they want that lead exclusively, then they have to pay for exclusive leads, which is way more pricey. So basically, you can do this same business model ethically and you resell the failed leads. What do I mean by that? Now you're not doing exactly what Thumbtack them and doing. They're just sending a, whatever the lead is to a million people. You only want to resell the failed leads, meaning your partner already talked to them, tried to service them, but couldn't help them. Maybe they're uh, outside their location or maybe they're outside their pricing bracket or, or they dealt with them before and they just don't like them or something like that, right? So you get to take that failed lead through the partnership and resell it to another business owner that is in that same niche in that same area that can service them. And, and this does multiple things, guys. This gives confidence to the customer that couldn't get service from you before, but also it makes sure that customer gets help. And on, time, on the same time, it introduces you to another potential partner. Your first impression with this new guy is that you're sending them a lead. All right. They're like, hold on. I don't even know you, but you're sending me a lead. Right. OK, so now we got drop servicing. If you weren't in my Godfather drop servicing course and you probably don't know what I'm talking about. But another word for this is service arbitrage. This is where you act as the third party. What am I talking about? When you go to cheap O air uh, price line negotiator or, or any of those type of flight trip type websites, they don't own any planes. They don't own any boats. Or any of that stuff. When you go to uh, uh, Zillow, they don't own any properties or anything. But when you go to Airbnb, they don't own any hotels or any vacation rentals. Yet they make a piece of every single transaction that goes on on their platform. That is drop servicing. You're promoting as a third party somebody else's property, product, or service. And when it actually converts, you get a cut. So you do that with your partner's sites. So you choose the pricing. Maybe you bump it up a little bit. That way they, you don't cut into their margins, but you also add value. That way you're not overpricing the customer. I teach you how to do this stuff in the Godfather drop servicing model. Um, 
But yeah, guys, that's that's what I'm talking about, right? So next, this one is one of my favorites because this allows you to start making money from day one that your partner agrees to this. Okay, this is plugging in a POS system for them, a new POS system in a virtual gateway. A POS system is called point of sale. For example, when you go to the gas station, all right, you start telling them what you want. Pump one, you want 10 on pump one, you cheap punk. Now they're playing. All right, <laughs> you see them touch a screen, uh, plug that in, and then they tell you, okay, that'll be blank. And then you swipe your freaking credit card if you went into the store. What they was typing in on that computer screen or whatever, that's called the point of sale system. All right, where they can collect your payment. Soon as you uh, swipe that credit card, they collect the payment, but the credit card processing company also gets a cut of that. Okay, so if you pay 10 on pump uh, uh, five, then they probably get seven or eight bucks. And then the credit card processing company actually gets the remainder, which would probably be two or three bucks, however much it is. Right. And guess what? If you are the one that plugged in that POS system for it, now everybody that swipes that credit card, that uh, transaction fee does not only go to the credit card processing company, but they have to split 50 50 with you. So if 100 people comes into that dang on gas station that day, you get a cut of the transaction fee from 100 people that you didn't even send. They was just driving off the freaking highway. OK, or the same thing with the restaurant, the retail shop, the flower shop, the whatever, the dental office interior decorator, whoever you plug in this POS system, right? So it takes a couple of days, maybe in a, even a week for the physical POS system to get there. So you'll wait for that to come in. But as soon as it's plugged in, you start making money that exact day just off of the foot traffic that is coming through to that business. Now, the powerful part that you can start profiting from day one with them is their website. If they already have a website that has traffic to it, if they're already ranking for some certain keywords that get good traffic volume when you meet them. So you don't want to deal with bums. I know all of the marketing agency gurus and all of that stuff teach you to go after people that are in a state of detriment and they're about to close their doors and they really, really need you. Well, okay, now you got a lot of work to do, right? But if you go after people that are already doing decently, at least already getting some traffic, whether that's from TikTok, Instagram, it does not freaking matter, right? If they're getting traffic on their site, then you can plug, you can replace their PayPal or their Stripe payment button with your customized virtual gateway. And whenever a transaction happens on the website, you get a slice of the freaking pie. 50% of that transaction fee. Boom. You already know. So next up, if you do this properly, create this partnership with them, then you can simply create an app from the website. You can go on Fiverr and pay five, 10 bucks and they can just convert the website to an app. And then you plug it in on their site, or you can put this on their menu. You can do it in the HR, uh, uh, HR code, whatever you want to do, guys. Get them to incentivize their current existing customers to start downloading this app because they're going to get specials if they download this app. Free drinks, free offers, uh, uh, um, you know, night on whatever it is, blah, blah, blah. Incentivize them. Tell them to do whatever they got to do to incentivize them to download this app. Why? Because then... Whenever lunchtime comes up, whenever dinner time, whenever breakfast time up, you can push you can push out messages to whoever has that app download just on tap. You're on their phone. People don't go anywhere without their phone. So they're going to get a push notification like, yo, we got bacon and eggs for breakfast. We right around the corner from you. Come in. You're going to get free coffee and orange juice with it. Boom. That don't cost them nothing. Now they got regular customers versus always trying to get new customers to come through and new customers on top of that through the other ways of marketing that you're going to help them with. On top of that, so how you're going to monetize from that is it's going to be ads on the mobile app, of course, and you can push notification them other offers and stuff that you have that you can cross promote from that business. For example, the course that you're going to create for this business. This is craziness. I know. I know. And that's why I wanted to do it, because we have to be different. So don't ask me how many clients I got. I don't want a million clients and you shouldn't want them either because clients are jobs. Clients are other jobs. But if you can take one partner and pull six figures out of them strategically. And when I say strategically, you want this to be painless to them. You don't want them to have to slice their prices on some Groupon type stuff. You don't want to have them have them change up their operations uh, drastically where it's uncomfortable to work with you. The way that I do this is seamless. It's seamless. They they don't even really notice anything besides the, the interview and maybe switching out the, the payment gateway. That's it. That's all that will take maybe a couple hours of their time. And then make them a crazy amount of money when we ramp things up and make us a crazy amount of money when we ramp things up. Now we're literally growing when they grow. 
not that game they be trying to spit at you when they only paying you five hundred dollars a damn month now because it's going to be in, in app purchases on that app too right so now check this out they have a reputation to uphold so one of the ways that you can instantly monetize this partner is by placing adsense on their already traffic filled websites okay now what do i mean by that guys all right so they have social medias uh, that they're, they're probably posting to. They already have a marketing guy, majority of them. So they're already getting traffic to their sites probably, okay? Even through partnerships or joint ventures or something, they're getting traffic to their sites. So how do you get money the first day you start working with them? Okay, well, guess what? If you are the one that replaced their site with a better conversion rate optimized website as a gift, and you can do this with a template so you ain't building from scratch every dang on day. Just get one built that's going to be perfect conversion out rate, uh, rate optimized for all of them. Change the coloration and all of that every time you get a new partner. Blah, blah, blah. Boom. Okay. So now you control the flow of when leads come in. You control the flow of what happens when a person opts in, if it goes to an upsell or if it goes to a thank you page. This is what you do. This is the magic for the thank you page. You add AdSense to the thank you page. If they're getting crazy amount of traffic, if they're already running ads from some other loser agency that then came through, no offense, <laughs> then they're funding you to get money. But it doesn't interrupt the transaction process. A person comes to the website as normal. They buy as normal. But then when it redirects them to a thank you page, if you don't have anything to upsell on that thank you page, you just place AdSense on there. Put some images of some food that they have or whatever it is, blah, blah, blah. They're going to click on it, right? So you have all these different ways if you take your time, stop being so desperate to get anybody at a thousand or five hundred bucks. Trust me, I've been there. I've like went through things even recently that was like, yo, maybe I should switch this up, but don't do it. Don't listen to that freaking voice, man. You keep this perfect business model because it's perfectly uh, structured to monetize a client. And then when you're getting them good results, which, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like the good thing about what I like to do is I like to productize my results. Meaning I'll teach somebody on their staff how to do it. We'll create a course. When you go to profitpositioningagency.com, you'll see majority of my services have been productized on some assembly line type stuff that's going to still get them awesome results. All right. So when they go and plug in a lot of this stuff on their own, like it's pat, like I don't have to do anything. But if I was to have to do something, then we really got to like <laughs> partner. Like if I if I got to have my VAs or me do something, then I'm definitely plugging in a lot of this because I'm going to be your partner. You're never going to be my client. I don't really want no clients. They can call themselves what they want, but I want power in the relationship too. Okay. You ain't just tossing me away. Right. Okay. So add an AdSense on the thank you page, guys. That's powerful. There are courses and books. Like I have the profit positioning book on my site right now on the profit position in agency.com. I strongly suggest you guys go and read that. It explains what the market monopoly is. That's what sets me apart. But you know, I'm, you know, the market monopoly, I charge what $200,000 for that. Right. Uh, but it just, even though I won't tell you how to do the market monopoly, it'll show you how to structure an offer to where you can charge 200 to a million freaking dollars for a specific offer or a service or whatever it is at your agency so you're not dealing with a million freaking people okay love you guys nine passive income streams created from one smma or ai automated uh client it is possible and i'm going to show you exactly how so the number one income stream that you can create from an ai automation client or any other type of agency client is AdSense. Okay. So of course you won't want to put this on their homepage or anything like that. This is why I teach you guys to not get clients, create partnerships instead. Okay. Because if you create partnerships, you have piece of ownership in the process or the creative marketing experience. So you can place AdSense on the thank you page. This is the page that the uh, potential customer for that client is redirected to after a purchase or after an upsell or something like that. So it will not interrupt the transaction process. So that's the number one income stream, AdSense on the thank you page. This means from day one, even before you implement any of your marketing techniques or AI and all of that stuff, if they're already getting traffic, for example, if they are already ranking on the first page of Google or if they're running their own ads or some other agency was running their ad, guys, uh, then that means that traffic is transferring to that thank you page whenever someone opts in. So you're profitable from day one from working with that partner or what you like to call them clients. Number two is a free app. You want to create a free app. You can weaponize their website. OK, so make it to where they can incentivize their already existing customers or clients and new clients. For example, if it's a restaurant, you go ahead and turn their full website into a mobile version. You can do that for free with a lot of conversion apps. For example, Builderall, link in the description or whatever. And once you have that app, you can have it on their menu. Let them know, hey, 
If you uh, download our app and order from our app, scan the QR code or whatever, blah, blah, blah. On Tuesdays, you can get free drinks. We just want to be able to send you specials for lunch and all of that extra stuff. But guess what? Now you can use push marketing and, and advertising every time uh, lunch, breakfast and dinner comes up. You can have ads, mobile ads inside that app as well. Now, when that customer leaves that location of your partner or your client, the transaction doesn't end there. You're still selling them other things. So this is another passive income stream. Now, number three. It's the POS system. All right. POS system and virtual gateway. What is that? Well, on a website, that is the button where a person would press uh, buy now or I'm ready to become a member or something like that. Blah, blah, blah. OK, so they're a partnering uh, uh, credit card transaction, you know, websites and stuff, credit card processing websites uh, that you can become a 50 50 partner. So if you switch out their payment buttons that they already have with yours, you'll get 50 percent of the tr transaction fee. On top of that, if they already have walk in traffic from the street or whatever, anytime someone swipes their credit card, pays for a meal, pays for a T-shirt, whatever the business is, guys, you're getting 50 percent of the transaction fee. For example, if something costs 100 bucks, uh, typically the business owner would only get like 95, 96 bucks a day. And then uh, the credit card processing company gets the other five, six or four bucks. All right. So when they get the four or five or six bucks, guys, now they have to split it with you because you created that partnership with the business that needed the new POS system. Boom. So now from day one, from partnering with a client uh, for your agency, you're profitable because if they're already getting walk-in traffic, if they're already a popular restaurant, retail shop, uh, uh, um, real estate firm, law, law firm, whatever it is, if they're already collecting payments, dentists uh, or whatever, soon as they're using your POS system, guys, soon as it reaches the mail in person, and they start collecting credit card payments, you're getting money. As soon as someone goes to their website from day one, once you switched out their virtual gateway, you're getting paid whether or not you get them new clients or not. All right. So, but we do want to get them good results, right? Now, the number four passive income stream that you can pull from one client, guys, is drop servicing. So if you're a partner, like I said, you have more creative freedom as far as how the marketing campaigns go. You can make suggestions on uh, upsells, on raising the price and changing the offer and value. Now, this is not going to work for every person that you come across. A lot of business owners are stubborn as hell, right? But if you, when you run into that partner, that's why you want to try to reach out to people in abundance and stuff like that. Use your AI. Don't be a hypocrite. Use AI to do your outreach. I see a lot of people talking about cold calling when they're doing an AI automation business. That's super hypocritical, dude. Use AI to do outreach too, right? Anyway, Okay. Now, my point is this, guys. When you speak with them, you can get them to agree to let you drop service, meaning you're not you're already not paying uh, charging them anything monthly. And you set this up how I teach you to set it up and you get a partnership. You don't have to charge them out of pocket monthly. You want to get a piece of every single sale. Businesses, every time they get marketing and they want to lowball you, first thing they say is, oh, when I grow, you'll grow. Just give me some results, right? Okay, fine. How about this? Every time you get a sale, I want to get a freaking sale. So if they're paying, if they're charging, their initial price for their product or service was a hundred bucks, for example, you want to bump that up to 150. But of course you want to add some type of value to it. Maybe give them an extra, uh, uh, you know, drinks on Wednesday or, or I'm just using rest. I don't know why I'm using restaurants for my examples, but if it's a plumber or something like that, create some type of subscription or something if you have another leak you know in the next three months or whatever we'll come out and do it for free if you pay this price blah 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 i'm just making stuff up out the top of my head so you get the 50 bucks and you don't have to cut into their hundred dollars uh, uh you know uh for them doing their service so that's drop servicing so whenever they get a sale <laughs> you're getting a sale whether or not you are doing the marketing or not this is another thing like they always say oh well i already got a marketing guy if you approach them as a business partner then they can keep their freaking marketing dude it's beneficial for you to let somebody else do the freaking marketing, right? Because now their budgets and all of that stuff, this is complete leverage, and their budgets and everything is pushing everybody to your AdSense field, thank you page, to your payment button that you control on their site. You understand what I'm saying? To your drop service and products, to uh, their location, if they have a location where they're going to swipe the credit card, let them other marketers and agencies do that. <laughs> okay, let them fund your growth. Now, number five, guys, is resale their failed leads to other qualified businesses in their niche. Okay, now if you're a partner, then you don't have to be exclusive, do you? Okay, so if you're in control of the landing pages, you're in control of the email list and all of that. You know when the lead comes in. When the lead comes in, that lead becomes yours too because you're a partner, right? Okay, so this is powerful. Why do you think Thumbtack, uh, Zillow, uh, a lot of those directories uh, went into the build billions real fast? Because they, when the lead comes in, they don't just sell it to one person. It's like a race. So if a plumber wants leads, if they want exclusive leads, they have to pay like way more to get the leads exclusive. But if they just want leads, period, when a lead comes in, they sell that same lead to 12 to 15 other freaking plumbers. So 12 plumbers times 80 bucks a lead, you guys do the freaking math. So guess what? When the failed lead comes in, meaning your partner, your dedicated partner was not able to service them, fine. You just find somebody else that has prices that match what that potential customer was looking for or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Maybe they're closer to their area or something. Whatever the reason that they failed, you just match them with somebody else. And now you charge that one that could service them. Boom, you resell the leads. Now, number six, okay? And this is extremely powerful. Build their email list 
and SML, SMS list simultaneously with yours and remarket using CPA offers, affiliate offers, et cetera, paper call offers and everything. So we use the plumber for an example, right? So a call comes in for that plumber. That plumber didn't get to answer the phone or that plumber, uh, you know, overpriced them or something like that. And you feel like it's a failed lead and you couldn't sell it to anybody else. When you remarket to that email list or that SMS list, you send them a paper call offer, CPA offer to another plumber. You understand what I'm saying? And you get paid from the phone calls. You don't even have to get a sale to make money. So that is a very unique way of monetizing the customers of your partners beyond them. Okay. So now you guys are starting to see how you can turn one client into nine different income streams and we're not done yet. Okay. So you get their email list and an SMS list. If they're already getting traffic when you first meet them, that means from day one, they're building your SMS and email list on their dime or some other marketing agency's dime. And this list is super dedicated and targeted. Now you can have that for a lifetime as it builds up to promote other offers too. And it's completely legal because they're not a client, they're a partner. Oh yeah. Okay, so now <laughs> we have the number seven way to create a passive income stream from your AI automation and SMMA clients, okay? All right, the tools, now pay attention, only use tools to automate or do whatever you're gonna be doing to fulfill for them that has affiliate programs. But make sure these affiliate programs have free trials. Okay, why? Because you want the onboarding process to be as smooth as possible. Don't forget that a lot of these people didn't want to pay you any money up front in the first place. So we want to position ourselves as a partner, be considerate, have empathy and be like, okay, guess what? Just like a friend would do. Guess what? I found you this deal right here. And we're going to be able to automate this, that, this, that, this, that, this using this one software. Now, if you really want things to be on autopilot, you just send them the training and they do it. Okay, now or have somebody on their staff do it. Okay, now. <laughs> so now you're getting affiliate commissions recurring from the tools that's going to be automating their uh, systems and their processes and their companies. Now, next, which is number eight, you want to be their funding partner whenever they need office supplies. If they need a new tractor for the freaking farm, if they need a, a new business cards, if, if they're trying to build a new location or something, you want to be their go to funding partner. And guess what? It's a lot of loan companies and business funding companies, private equity companies and all, all of these different type of finance companies that will give them venture capitalists and all of that that will give you a commission whenever you bring them a new business that needs funding. OK, so now, now you guys are starting to get it. You don't want to be in a feast or famine mode. Trust me, I understand. I get it where you'll have a client one month and then you don't have a client another month, which is why I'd stop wanting to get clients and started trying to go after partners, guys. Because even if, let's say that I was to charge someone up front, after I plug in all of this, they can stop paying me monthly. I'm, they're so, I'm so integrated into their systems and processes and stuff. I become, Paul's the third leg of the company. It's like I bought into it without using money. So if they were to try to completely detach from me, everything would come tumbling down from them. OK, so that's what you want to do, guys. Plug yourself into them with as many assets as you possibly can. You are going to control the website if you do it properly. So you're thinking about, oh, but I want to do this. I don't want to build a website. No, I want to do that. But guess what? If you give them a new website using the, oh, we want to, uh, the excuse for it, we want to increase your uh, conversion rate optimization. Your website is not really uh, uh, tailored to convert the way that it should. So allow us to just go ahead and plug in. You can create a template. It doesn't matter. You don't have to create a brand new website. Every, if you go after a specific niche, all you have to do is change the colors of the website and uh, switch out the images. Boom. There you go. Okay. So now, now that you control that, you control the AdSense page, okay, on the thank you page. Also, you get to put tracking pixels on there to retarget that you own. I mean, come on, man. Like, this is building up everything for you. You hear me? So make them agree to be your funding partner. That was number eight. Number nine is to interview them. Watch this. Interview them and convert the interview content into a course, a high-paid course material that you can then sell for them on Facebook, on TikTok, on YouTube through paid ads that they have a budget for. Even if it's a budget of $25 a day, it doesn't freaking matter. Convince them, hey, this is another income stream and it's passive. You don't have to do anything. I'm going to interview you one time. We're going to extract the pertinent inf information uh, for how you became this restaurant owner or this beautician or whatever, blah, 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 because other people want to be able to do that as well. We're going to create a course out of it. We're going to set an affordable budget and that is going to get you to about six figures a month without you even having to like service anybody. Nine income streams from one AI automation slash SMMA slash SEO agency right there, right about now. That is why you want to go after the new drop service and course link in the description or any other services on there or products I have on my page link in the description because this will set you apart. I want you to become the only like when you reach out to these people, they can't say, oh, we've been approached with this before. All right. I'm going to show you how to create offers where they, they can't say it. Like when I talk to someone, I tell them, I'll give you 250 bucks if you've ever been approached with this offer before, because I know that they never have before. OK, so go to the link in the description. You'll see all of my products, courses, all of that stuff that we use to get these uh, partners, what you call clients, extraordinary results, as well as fully monetizing them to the furthest extent. But it is painless for them, but extremely beneficial and profitable and lucrative and all of those awesome money words for us. Love you guys.